And now it gives me great pleasure to invite someone I have worked very closely with, my co-star of many films, a person whose choice of quirky and unusual characters is very similar to mine, and whose passion for advocacy I share, Bhumi Bedneker. Uh, Bhumi, among many things we've done together, I'm glad you're on the show. And, uh, you know, I'm a UNICEF India guy, I'm a national ambassador. And there's uh, a social responsibility for an artist. If you're taking something from the world, 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 then you can do something from the world, then you can do something from the world, then you can do something from the world. So, tell us about your initiative. I think शुरुआत मेरी एक्टर बनने के पहले से ही हो गई थी जहाँ पे मुझे लगा कि किसी ना किसी तरह से it's important to give back you know exactly जैसी आपकी सोच है and छोटे-छोटे चीजें करते थे हम like literally जब कोई natural calamity होती थी a small thing like you know just going around the area कि आप चंदा जाके इकट्ठा कर लो you know, so from there, you have a spirit to give back to do something for the community. वो करते-करते एक्टर बन गई और फिर रियलाइज हुआ था दैस अ लार्ज ऑडियंस जो मेरी बातें सुनना चाहती है और मैं अपने और मेरी फिल्मों के थ्रू भी मुझे रियलाइज हुआ कि सिनेमा एक इतना इम्पोर्टेंट मीडियम है जिसके थ्रू हम एक बदलाव ला सकते हैं टॉयलेट एक प्रेम का था मेरी एक फिल्म थी जो बहुत ही ज़्यादा सेलिब्रेटेड थी स्वच्छता अभियान का हिस्सा भी वो फिल्म बनी इन अ वेरी वेरी बिग वे बहुत ज़्यादा इम्पैक्ट लाया उस फिल्म से भी मैंने सीखा कि एक मास लेवल पर अगर आप बदलाव लाना चाहते हैं तो सिनेमा एक बहुत ही ज़्यादा इम्पोर्टेंट टूल है तो अपने फिल्मों के थ्रू कोशिश यही करती हूँ कि कहीं ना कहीं कोई थोड़ा पॉजिटिव चेंज आए माइंडसेट में पॉजिटिव चेंज आए और ऑफ स्क्रीन भी क्लाइमेट वॉरियो हो या यूएनडीपी ने जो मुझे जिम्मेदारी दी है टू बी द नेशनल एडवोकेट फॉर द एसडीजीज कोशिश यही करती हूँ कि जितना हो सके एक पॉजिटिव चेंज इन द सोसाइटी में लाने की कोशिश करूँ और एक बड़े बदलाव का हिस्सा बनूँ ग्रेट इंडिया से वेरी यंग कंट्री हमारी जो अंडर थर्टी है एज जो है सिक्सटी परसेंट हमारी जो आबादी है पापुलेशन है वो अंडर थर्टी है एंड मैं ये बोलना चाहता हूँ यूनिसेफ इंडिया के थ्रू मेरे मुझे बहुत कुछ करने का मौका मिला है एंड मैं ये बताना चाहता हूँ कि हमने तीन हिट फिल्मों का हिस्सा साथ में रहे हैं भूमि एन आई पार्ट ऑफ दमलगा के एशिया जो इनकी पहली फिल्म थी उसके बाद शुभ मंगल सावधान आई थिंक आयुष्मान माई लकी चाउ She's my lucky charm. Shubh Mangal, Zada Saadhan, three of them have been very good. Now, I want to ask you a question about how UNICEF and your initiator will collaborate with you. How will that hit happen? How will that hit happen? I think that today you have said so much on stage with such a large audience. So, I really hope that the UN team and the UNICEF team, the UNICEF team and the UNDP and the UNICEF team are listening to us. And we will do something with you. Because I think that when you and me meet, our forces collide, so it's only good things with them. Absolutely. And especially when the mission is the same, when the goal is the same. Absolutely. Saath, you're working for the climate. At the end of the day, future generations. Ke Absolutely. Hai. Bhumi, Bhumi, a new movie is coming. Thank you for coming. Yes. And you know, it's, it talks about, it's very vocal about what women really want. Very often as women, we don't prioritize ourselves. Yes. You know? So tell us about it. Tell us about the movie. What is it all about? Well, as you rightly said, the film is against patriarchy. Uh, the film is against liberation. The film is about liberation. It is about equality. It's a comedy. The narrative is extremely funny. Uh, the character I play, she is a mess. And often we don't see women portrayed with, their, um, with all their imperfections on screen. For me, I feel imperfection, showing an, an imperfection is the most perfect way of portraying a character. And that's exactly what Kanika Kapoor is. Uh, doing this film was a massive therapy session for me because there were so many of my unresolved issues just as a young woman living in the times that I live in that the film addresses. And I'd never felt that kind of representation. You know, I've been very fortunate to have played some very, very empowered characters, you know, but they have been a little away from the life that I've lived. I feel like this girl is very close to the life that I have lived because, you know, she's a city modern girl. And uh, even though, you know, she has a lot of privileges, the film also addresses that. But at the same time, on every level, she faces sexism. You know, there's just societal conditioning of women just being told that you're not good. You need to be apologetic about everything that you do. You know, we're sorry, sorry, bol bol ke. You know, we kind of lose who we are because there's so much of our happiness and confidence that is um, that responsibility is given to somebody else 
And all the responsibilities that are given to us are not chosen responsibilities. They are responsibilities that जो हम पे थोपी गई हैं तो फिल्म इन्हीं चीज़ों के बारे में बात करती है सबसे मज़ेदार बात है कि एक कॉमेडी फिल्म है और इट्स एन एक्सट्रीमली इंक्लूसिव फिल्म क्योंकि इस फिल्म में प्रॉब्लम पेट्रिया की है एंड वुमेन कैन बी एज पेट्रियाकल एज मैन क्योंकि पेट्रिया की एक सोच है वो एक जेंडर uh, स्पेसिफिक चीज़ नहीं है मुझे लगा था मुझे इस पर बोलना चाहिए पर फ्रेंकली स्पीकिंग वो मैं प्ले नहीं हो जाएगा अगर आप इनसे बात करेंगे तो रिप्रेजेंटेशन करेक्ट है और मैं प्ले नहीं होगा एंड वेरी वेल सेट वो भी जितनी भी फिल्में आपने की हैं बहुत ही प्रोग्रेसिव है उसमें एक मैसेज होता है और ये फिल्म भी बहुत अच्छी लग रही है एंड आई थिंक जितने प्रोमो जा रहे हैं दे आर हिलेरियस एट द सेम टाइम आई एम अज्यूमिंग कि उसमें एक अच्छा मैसेज होगा बिल्कुल बहुत बड़ा हार्ट है इस फिल्म में और आपने एकदम सही कहा मैसेज भी बहुत स्ट्रॉन्ग है लेकिन जैसी फिल्में आपने और मैंने की है आयुष्मान यू नो हमारी फिल्में भी ऐसी नहीं कि हंसते खेलते हम लोगों को एक कुछ समझा गए हैं यू नो बाला बी वन ऑफ द बिगेस्ट एग्जाम्पल्स और दम लगा के ऑल्सो तो इस फिल्म का भी वही जॉन रहा है वही मजाक मस्ती है एंड एज अज हार्ट एंड एंड कितनी अच्छी तरह यू नो थ्रू रोल्स एज अ मीडियम इतनी अच्छी तरह जो इम्पोर्टेंट मैसेजिंग लोगों तक पहुँचा आई थिंक दैट इज वेरी वेरी इम्पोर्टेंट थैंक यू फॉर डूइंग दैट सो वेल ईच एंड एवरी टाइम लेट मी इंट्रोड्यूस वी ऑल्सो हैव विद आस रवि भटनागर डिरेक्टर एक्सटर्नल अफेयर्स एंड पार्टनरशिप्स एस ओ ए रैकेट एंड वी हैव डॉक्टर कोमल गोस्वामी चीफ ऑफ पार्टी प्लान इंडिया सो वी गुन बी टॉकिंग अबाउट अ सेल्फ केयर केट एंड दिस इज वॉट दिस कैंपेन टॉक्स अबाउट क्रिएटिंग सेल्फ केयर इज वन ऑफ द मेन थिंग्स ऑफ आर प्रोग्राम and uh, dr komal what i would like to ask you tell us about this uh, you know this creation or you know why is this self care kit important okay so ambika you know that uh, you know we have been doing this nutrition program since 2018 and we have realized that we need to start young not just with the under 5 kids but with the young mothers also uh, india is uh, you know india is a uh, culture of diversity it's like we have to reach out to last mile population and as bumi was just saying you know talking about agency lot of our women who are in rural areas or in tribal areas they do not know the concept of agency you know uh, as soon as they are married they are you know as bumi was saying forced upon taking the additional responsibilities right they do not have time to take care of themselves to talk about you know uh, mental health so mental health is something postpartum depression is something that you uh, you know uh, it's very the logic is very much adaptable and uh, distinct to the rural uh, urban population but for not for rural or tribal women so a lot of other things such as hand hygiene over uh, overall hygiene menstrual hygiene uh, talking about you know uh, ensuring that not just the family is fed well herself uh, she and herself is also uh, fed well it's all about starting very young when we talk about you know that the mother is a high risk pregnant woman how does a mother become a high risk pregnant woman the mother become a high risk pregnant woman because she is anemic since ages maybe when she was just a girl or a adolescent right and there are no one uh, who no such facility or no such uh, you know uh, a person in the family who knows about it and who can guide the mothers so that's how we dis- devised uh, the self care kit which will not just take care of the under 5 kids and prevent them from diarrhea and pneumonia but also ensure that mother have that agency and mother takes care of them her- of herself so that she becomes more enabled to take care of the care than the family yeah nice. absolutely so let's see what the kit has request you to please uh, unveil that In fact, जो भी ये बता रहे थे यू नो गोइंग इन टू द ट्राइबल एरियाज वी कोमल एंड आई ट्रैवल अबाउट फ्यू मंथ्स गो टू द सिद्धी कम्युनिटी जम्बूर में गए थे वे वी मेट द कम्युनिटी सो इट वॉज इफ यू ऑल्सो प्लीज अनवेल सो लेट्स सी वॉट द किट हैज एंड रवि यू कुड ऑल्सो टेल आस वाई आर दीज थिंग्स इम्पॉर्टेंट सो प्लीज so interestingly ambika like uh, this all came from our work what yeah. we have been doing in amravati and nandurbar and i remember our you know season 6 where uh, with uh, mr fundves who is uh, deputy cm of maharashtra we made a commitment and we said like you know we are going to make sure uh, the tribal kids will be taken care of after delivering the program successfully with plan india we thought like you know now it's the time to expand the program to various states in india so now the program is moving from maharashtra uh to gujarat as well as to rajasthan and the program aims to reach 10 million moms the program you know aims to reach uh, 1 million uh, under 5 kids and uh, by the virtue of this program uh, you know like uh, there a lot of conversations with the who when they were releasing the self care report for uh, south of asia uh, i was one of the members in the expert committees for the same 
the program, the work, what we have been doing on the Detol Banegas First India gave us the platform to uh, position and to actually tell like what is working in India, especially in the rural in the last mile. And now this, you know, this kit is being divided into two parts largely. Yeah. One part is for the mothers and the second part is for the kids. So for the mothers, this kit has uh, iron and folic acid tablets, it has vitamin C, it has sanitizers, it has a baby blanket, it has a Detol liquid soap. For the kids, it is, uh, it's taking care of the diarrhea and pneumonia both. It has the ORS sashes, zinc tablets, thermometers, soaps, amoxicillin tablets, surgical gloves, and the pulse oximeter. Basically, like, uh, you know, we would love to have these kids, uh, you know, placed in the wellness centers, yeah. uh, in the ASHA centers, in the Anganwadi centers. Uh, also, we are heavily training now the last mile, uh, you know, uh, delivery of, for this program. Because still in India, the pneumonia cases, diarrhea cases are still very high. And world talks about, you know, three countries. One is Bangladesh, second is India. We are neighbors, but the indicators are very different. Mm -hmm. We really want to move up. We really want to support all the 100 plus aspirational districts what India has. And this is our firm commitment along with Plan India. We are going to take it to the last mile. So Thank much you for explaining that well and I think you know all these things are very easy doable like having an iron folic yes. acid which every pregnant woman yes. needs to have but you know the importance of having a vitamin C tablet with it for the absorption so I think creating awareness for the mother and then breaking the intergenerational cycle that only if a healthy if a mother is healthy will the child be healthy so I think that's what it's important. Like even if you look at urban even if you look at urban cities yeah if my mother is not well she will completely ignore herself because that is societal conditioning. And she just feels that no, till, till, she, till they don't reach the tip of it, yeah. they will not do anything about it. Most times they feel embarrassed, they feel ashamed. And also, we have told that we are very strong, we can take pain. Like even if you think of period pain that women have to go through, you know, most times it is just dismissed. And only if you go through it, do you understand? For Aapne aur maine ek baar is baare mein baat ki thi, sir. Agar aapko yaad ho, it is just completely dismissed because we are just taught to take the pain. And if you don't take it, you are completely dismissed saying ki baaki log ko dekho. But none of us should endure this pain. In fact, what you were saying, exactly the same thing that we always, we don't prioritize ourselves and just, you know, have to deal with so many things without even talking about it. Yeah. Embarrassment, absolutely. So now we are joined by Dr. Rodrigo Offren, WHO representative to India. Dr. Rodrigo, we're talking about self-care. Could you tell us the role of self-care in achieving the right to health? Yes, thank you very much, Ambika. That's a, it's a big question, and it's something probably that was not answered before. Uh, WHO's definition of self-care is the ability of individuals, their families, communities to promote their own health, prevent disease, maintain health, uh, maybe to access a health service, and cope with illnesses or disabilities with or without the support of a health worker. It is very much linked to the health literacy of people. Health literacy meaning how you understand health, how you understand symptoms, how, how willing are you to, to reach out for, for uh, health services. It recognizes individuals as active agents in managing their own health care. And in that in itself is the right to health. Once a person embodies that health is their right, then self-care comes in because that person will start looking for information, understanding uh, what they are feeling, when will they actually uh, access a service, but they will start with uh, helping themselves first. It is, it is really a, a, a self-motivated way for health promotion, disease prevention, rather than just disease curing, sometimes self-medication when it is simple. Right. Um, it does not replace health, the healthcare system. I think that's the caveat that I would like to put out there. It doesn't mean we're saying self-care is important, then everybody just goes and do, uh, does this themselves. It is that engagement right at the outset, understanding your body, understanding the symptoms you have, understanding basic uh, um, illnesses and symptoms and doing something about it. 
It provides additional choices and options for healthcare and does not at all replace the healthcare system. Federico, you know, you see, India is the pharmacy capital of the world. We export vaccines to the world. But uh, the most important question is, are we using those vaccines effectively in India, especially because the government of India is also focusing on Mission Indra Dhanush? Just to tell you uh, very shortly the success, um, during COVID, we've had a a dip in terms of coverage for children, around 15%. That's huge if you have a 26 million birth cohort every year. Now, um, uh, there was a lot of um, catch up being done, it's really a speed up to catch up uh, where these children are. Uh, we, we have been uh, privileged to be part operationally with that, that the ministry is, is in these efforts that the ministry is doing at central and state level. And uh, just to let you know, the recent estimates of WHO and UNICEF, uh, this is July, has shown that India has gone back and even higher pre-pandemic um, levels of coverage. Are we using the vaccines? Yes. And more. Uh, there is also the new policy to introduce uh, HPV vaccines. But more importantly is to leverage the, the current uh, or just the recently concluded uh, intensified mission in Danush uh, to uh, uh, move to measles elimination, but also to create a whole system that through routine immunization, that the routine services will be able to cover uh, all children everywhere, anywhere, anytime, with the uh, vaccines that are required, because vaccines saves lives. Vaccines is the most um, economically beneficial uh, um, public health intervention that we have as of the moment to prevent disease, disability, and deaths. Friend, thank you very much for joining us. And I'd also like to thank uh, Bhumi Pednikar as well as Dr. Komal for joining us. Thank you so much. Uh, एक चीज जिसके बारे में हमने इससे पहले भी बात की है अपने शो में वो है स्वास्थ्य ग्राउंड पर उसका असर क्या हो रहा है जो इनिशिएटिव्स लिए गए हैं जो प्रयोग किए जा रहे हैं जमीन पर उसका क्या असर हो रहा है अब देखिए एक जो बहुत बड़ी चुनौती है वो है डायरिया और उसके लिए समाधान ढूंढना बहुत जरूरी है तो डेटॉल का डायरिया नेट जीरो इनिशिएटिव जो है जो रैकेट ने शुरू किया है वो अपने आप में एक बहुत ही अनूठी मुहिम है वो पूरी कोशिश कर रही है कि किस तरीके से उत्तर प्रदेश में 25 ऐसे जिले जहां पर डायरिया से बच्चों की बहुत ज्यादा मौत होती हैं वहां पर वो किस तरीके से नेट जीरो पहुंचे तो उस मुहिम को कैसे आगे ले जाया जा रहा है और उसका परिणाम क्या है शरद शर्मा अब हमारे सहयोगी जो हैं वो वाराणसी में है शरद अगर आप कुछ बताना चाहें आ, संकेत मैं वाराणसी में हूँ वाराणसी देश के प्रधानमंत्री का संसदीय क्षेत्र है और यहाँ पर रैकेट इंडिया ने एक प्रोग्राम चलाया डायरिया नेट जीरो ये इसलिए चलाया गया संकेत यहाँ पर क्योंकि ये देखा गया है कि डायरिया यानी दस्त ये जो छोटे बच्चे होते हैं पाँच साल से छोटे बच्चे होते हैं उनमें सबसे ज़्यादा मौत या सबसे ज़्यादा कुपोषण जो है वो डायरिया की वजह से होता है और इसका एक कारण ये है कि साफ सफाई नहीं रखी जाती तो इसलिए यहाँ पर यह पूरा एक कैंपेन चलाया गया है मेरे साथ रैकेट इंडिया के डॉक्टर विवेक चौहान हैं चौहान साहब कैसे ये शुरू हुआ प्रोग्राम और किस तरह से आप स्वच्छता और स्वस्थता का अभियान चला रहे हैं थैंक यू शरद सबसे पहले तो मैं बहुत धन्यवाद करना चाहूँगा एन टीम का और हमारी रैकेट लीडरशिप का कि ये वाला प्रोग्राम देख रहे हैं इस भरे मौसम में पानी बरस रहा है यहाँ पर और एक उत्सव का माहौल सा चल गया है यहाँ पर तो इसकी ये सफलता का एक एक आईना है जो दिख रहा है अब मैं आपको बताता हूँ कि हम लोगों ने कई साल पहले हमारी जो टॉप लीडरशिप थी उन्होंने डिसाइड किया कि कितने क्या आंकड़े हैं डायरिया के उस हिसाब से हम लोगों ने प्रोजेक्ट होप शुरू किया था प्रोजेक्ट होप बेसिकली लैगिंग डिस्ट्रिक्ट से बहराइज श्रावस्ती वहाँ पर जब ये शुरू किया गया तो हमारी अर्ली लर्निंग्स हुई अर्ली सक्सेस के के बेसिस पर ये देखा कि हमारा जो पिलर्स थे वो थे वुमेन एम्पावरमेंट और इसका प्रमोट और प्रिवेंशन अब ट्रीटमेंट उसमें से एक पार्ट लगा कि ट्रीटमेंट को और होना चाहिए हम लोगों ने इम्पैक्ट बॉन्ड लेकर के आए 
हाइजीन इम्पैक्ट बॉन्ड हाइजीन इम्पैक्ट बॉन्ड में हम लोगों ने और साथ में एफ डी क्लिनिक्स किए ओ आर एस पर काफ़ी फोकस किया गया हमारा फिर फाइनली लास्ट ईयर हम लोगों ने उसकी जो लर्निंग्स निकाल के आई तो ये दिखा कि एक होलिस्टिक अप्रोच की ज़रूरत थी जिसमें आ, हम लोग पब्लिक सेक्टर प्राइवेट सेक्टर केयर गिवर्स सबको फोकस कर सकें और एक ऐसी अप्रोच जो सारे के सारे इम्पैक्ट को फुलफिल करती हो थ्री सिक्सटी डिग्री पर काम करती हो तो डब्ल्यू का सेवन पॉइंट प्लान हम लोगों ने अडॉप्ट किया जिसमें सेवन प्लांट में टू टू जो है वो ट्रीटमेंट के जिसमें ओ और जिंक और और जो फाइव है वो ब्रेस्ट फीडिंग सेफ सैनिटेशन सेफ वाटर रोटा वायरस वैक्सीन और हैंड वॉशिंग तो ये एक पूरा का पूरा हम लोगों ने इस पर पूरी ट्रेंड किया लास्ट ईयर हम लोगों ने टेन थाउजेंड वो वॉल्टियर्स को ट्रेंड किया यहाँ पर दस हजार गुलाबी दीदी इसको ट्रेंड किया तेरह जिलों में हमारा काम था और इस साल ये एक्सपेंड करके हम लोग पच्चीस जिलों में आ गए हैं बीस हजार गुलाबी दीदी इस पर हमारा काम चल रहा है और ये गुलाबी दीदी क्या है कि हमारा जो टारगेट है ना शरद वो है पूरे दस हजार बच्चों को इस साल सेव करना उत्तर प्रदेश में तो ये टारगेट तभी से पाएगा जब हम कम्युनिटी इंगेजमेंट करेंगे रूरल कम्युनिटी के अंदर जाकर के हम अपना काम करेंगे हर घर में हमारी पहुंच होगी और हम अर्ली डिटेक्शन कर पाएंगे बच्चों का इसके लिए हमारा गवर्नमेंट के साथ प्राइवेट वो एमओयू हुआ है और सिविल सोसाइटी के साथ एमओयू हुआ है और हम लोगों ने कुछ टूल्स भी बनाए हाँ और ये टूल्स में जैसे कि आप ये देखिए ये होगी लाइफ सेविंग किट हम लोगों ने बना रखी डायरिया की इस डायरिया किट ये हम घर में देते हैं अगर वहाँ अर्ली डिटेक्शन होता है बच्चे का पूरा फॉलो अप है इसमें आप देख रहे हैं कि साबुन है सैनिटाइजर है थर्मामीटर है और साथ में हम लोगों ने ये जो जिंक की चौदह दिन की पूरी खुराक ओ और साथ में जो आईसी मटेरियल भी दे रखा है ताकि हम अपने घर वालों को केयर गिवर को ये समझा पाएं कि ये बड़े ही सरल भाषा में हिंदी भाषा में हम लोगों ने इसको हाँ। देते हैं ताकि मैसेज कम्युनिकेट करना जरूरी है कम्युनिकेट हाँ। करना बहुत ज्यादा जरूरी है इसके साथ साथ में हमारे पास में देखिए हर घरों में लाखों घरों में हम लोग ये पहुंचा चुके हैं कि हाथ धोना कितना जरूरी है और बीस सेकंड तक हाथ धोना और एक आदमी अगर हाथ धोता है तो उसे कम से कम दस लोगों तक ये बात साझा करनी है और जैसे हम लोग नुक्कड़ नाटक नुक्कड़ नाटक वॉल पेंटिंग आप ये देखिए कि नजारा आज इतने सारे लोग खड़े हैं पीछे हमारे नुक्कड़ नाटक की टीम ऑलरेडी यहाँ पर बारिश में भी तब से सुबह से उत्साहित है और नुक्कड़ नाटक कर रही है तो ये हम लोग ऐसे टूल्स डेवलप किए और साथ में जो हमारी गुलाबी दीदीज हैं इनको पूरी किट दी गई है पानी की बॉटल बैग सबको ताकि इनको कोई प्रॉब्लम ना हो अपने घर में जाते हैं और और जो जो अर्ली मॉम्स हैं जो नई नई मॉम्स बनी है केयर गिवर्स हैं माताएं बहनें उनको डायरे के बारे में समझाते हैं किट प्रोवाइड कराते हैं सैनिटाइजर सोप नुक्कड़ नाटक के दौरान भी हम लोग ये सारी चीज़ें प्रोवाइड कराते हैं और पूरा का पूरा रिकॉर्ड रखते हैं हम लोग इन सब चीज़ों का तो ये अभी तेरह जिलों से पच्चीस जिलों में एक्सपेंड हो गया है नेक्स्ट ईयर हम लोग कोशिश कर रहे हैं ये पूरे के पूरे यूपी में पचहत्तर जिलों में हम लोग इसको एक्सपेंड करेंगे यूपी के साथ साथ महाराष्ट्र गुजरात और राजस्थान में भी ये प्रोग्राम जाएगा और डायरी के साथ साथ निमोनिया को भी हम लोग इस बार कंसिडर कर रहे हैं तो कुल मिलाकर स्वच्छता से कैसे स्वस्थता आ सकती है ये कंसेप्ट उस पर है और बहुत ही बेसिक सी एक बीमारी भी है और बेसिक सी बात भी है कि अगर साफ सफाई नहीं रखते हैं तो पेट खराब हो सकता है और केवल बच्चों का ही नहीं पेट तो किसी का भी खराब हो सकता है तो इसीलिए ये जो कैंपेन है ये डिटॉल की तरफ से चलाया जा रहा है बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद शरद वीव बिन टॉकिंग अबाउट द कैंपेन पार्टनर्स एंड देर बिन मैनी बिन इंटेग्रल टू आर नाइन ईयर जर्नी a journey that has been as meaningful as it has been impactful on the ground whether it was raising rupees 281 crores to make toilets in villages in season 1 to the launch of the hygiene curriculum for schools and learning institutes across india the reach child program and the cadre it has created of health workers called gulabi didis the first 1000 days kit the impact of the birds and bees program the tree plantation drives the launch of the climate resilient schools the diarrhea net zero program which we just saw there is a lot that has been done to discuss it we are joined by dr narendra saini clinical microbiologist and former secretary general indian medical association dr indra chakravarti public health specialist padmashri awardee 2014 ms sonali khan managing director sesame workshop india mr sai damodaran founder and ceo of gramala is also padma shri awardee 2022 and of course we still have uh, mr ravi bhatnagar with us indra ji my first question is to you we have been working on this campaign together you have seen the campaign closely and you've also joined us for our telethons tell us what impact do you see on ground of this campaign and what changes has it brought i think this swast banega india has been uh, nine years over now going on to the 10th year I think this was one of the first programs 
uh, which linked uh, the importance of hygiene to health. Mm. I think one of the very first programs is brought into light. Uh, at that time, the, you know, the uh, Swachh Bharat program had started, mm. and they all had the data all running a Swachh India program. So this program evolved mm -hmm. out of that. So it was the health impact that you wanted to see of these programs. On one side, the Detal Monega Swast India, which had started already. I think this was a very innovative approach, one of the first very bold ones to have linked for the first time. Later on, a lot of health-related studies have been, do, have been going on. But I think this was one of the first when Swachh Bharat started, sanitation movement started, the Detal Monega Swast India started. So this was a kind of thing which was a pathfinder. And I think that is a reason uh, initially, we were very skeptical how it will go because you know you go, you're linking very different things together: hygiene on one side, diarrhea on the other side, various health impacts that are coming in, water safety, food safety, hygiene, all linked together. So this was a remarkable journey, to be very often a remarkable journey. Ricket was bold enough to start the whole thing, and today when you look back, you find how wonderful an initiative it was. What a wonderful journey it has been. Where we, had, we have been taken through this journey. Now, that thing, most of India knows now. You wanted to reach 100 million people, you've reached much more, maybe. Now, people know, people know very well that these programs, now Jal Jeevan Mission came on after that. So, I think it is very, very uh, innovative that this was done 10 years back when you didn't know where it's going to go. And you find that these programs, Reket took on, and now you know how important these are to health, yes. to public health. As a public health specialist, I feel this was kind of a dream come true for many of us. We've been thinking of that how to link environment to health, somebody coming up boldly and taking up in a public forum. I think this telethons took it to the public forum. And now across the nation, across all levels of the society, right from the top to the bottom, people know about it. People know that these things that you're doing, you know, see the pictures that you're cleaning. And I think Mr. Gaurav Jain in the morning very clearly said that it it uh, put into together in a basket all partners, all kinds of partners from top to bottom. Yes. I mean, I'm not mentioning separately, but everybody was involved, everybody was motivated, everybody took part. And I think this telethons, this tel have been a remarkable uh, uh, sort of step forward to have been started, starting all this, and today reaching where we are. And on this tenth year, I feel very proud, very honored, very happy, very wonderful to have been involved with it and I think it was a great thing that was done. Ravi has been holding hand right from the beginning. Uh, so it was, I would say, a wonderful journey Ji. personally for me as well. Thank you so much for being a part of it. Hi. Yeah, of course, you know what, I, it's such an enlightening experience for me being part of this telethon and I have really noticed in the past two years, three years during the COVID, the world was ever evolving, it was changing and it was bound to change, but the change really hastened and it quickened. And uh, Dr. Sari, my question is for you. Um, that, you know, post-COVID, there's definitely more awareness about hygiene, and, but there are a lot of challenges which still persist. And how can we collaborate, like this campaign to collaborate with healthcare professionals and doctors, and what will this collaboration will mean to us? How can we take this forward? What's the benefit of it? you are very right, very right question. The awareness. There is a two aspect of learning. One is awareness, and Gaurav also touched upon that, behavior change. Mm. We have created awareness, but there need to be a behavior change in people, and it takes time. I tell you my experience, I have seen now, that people are Hand hygiene is a simple thing, but people are forgetting because COVID over, as if every disease is over. Disease is not हमारे पास में हमारे साथ में है क्योंकि यहां इंडिया में तो इंफेक्शियस डिजीज आर मोस्ट कॉमन थिंग व्हिच वी हैव सीन डायबिटीज हाइपरटेंशन आर देयर बट कॉमन डिजीजेस जो है अभी भी इंफेक्शियस डिजीज है एंड ओनली प्रिवेंशन इज द क्योर यदि हम प्रिवेंट कर लेंगे लाइक आई थिंक यू सेड नाउ व्हाट इज द रोल ऑफ अदर एज ए प्रोफेशनल मेडिकल प्रोफेशनल माय रोल इज टू क्योर बिकॉज़ मेरे पास टाइम ही नहीं होता कुछ और बताने के लिए आई कांट टेल देम व्हाट इज द रोल ऑफ हाइंड हाइजीन what is the role of hygiene in food? What is the role of hygiene in water? All these things, and what is the role of sanitation? All these things are together complete the health system. In that health system, mein, medical professional is one part only. That is curative. But people like you, 
You have seen during COVID, media has done a lot of things. A film industry has done. We are really indebted to all of you because you people are influencer. You change the behavior of people. So everybody is required. We are really thankful to Ricket for coming out with such a program because these are the changes which make the society to think about system we have to imbibe all those things so that I don't get a disease. system purity we are doctor this doctor is cure But the more important thing is that infectious diseases are all preventable diseases. यदि हम इसको तरफ ध्यान देंगे और जिसमें रोल डॉक्टर्स के अलावा आप जो सारे लोग यहां बैठे हैं और जो मेरे सामने बैठे हैं दे हैव ए इंपॉर्टेंट रोल टू प्ले इफ वी वांट हेल्दी इंडिया और ये बहुत अच्छा प्रोग्राम है स्वच्छ भारत हाइजीन को कई बारी ना हम सिर्फ ये ले लेते हैं कि सफाई होगी हाइजीन इज इंक्लूडिंग कि प्रिवेंटिंग डिजीज साफ है कैन कैन दिस प्रिवेंट मी अ डिजीज और नॉट तो वो भी एक रोल प्ले करता है कि हमें प्रिवेंशन ऑफ द डिजीज which is the meaning of hygiene, not merely cleanliness. So, we have to see. Now, when we did COVID, kiya, so because of all of you, I think we are really proud Indians that we have covered so many population in a small time. But this needs to be consistent. You should be able to this with all Only then we can say, which our Prime Minister has also a dream, that we should be disease-free India. That is only possible. This is what Dr. Saini is saying. I want to ask you to ask you. Because he mentioned an important word called communication. Uh, of course, uh, you know, we can be carriers of that message. But uh, how does that communication become future ready uh, to convince youngsters? And when I mean young, I mean catching them really young. Uh, what has your experience been with the Sesame Workshop? This is actually, I think, the most critical question in this whole program because you're talking about the next generation. Yeah. So we are all pretty gray-haired <laughs> and, you know, lived our lives, Not sometimes Aishman. learn good habits and yeah. then trying to also learn bad habits and then unlearn them. Yeah. And I think the unlearning part is the most difficult. So with that, I want to actually come to the real moot point mm. that let's teach them right from go. I think that's the first message to give. I think when the Honorable President spoke in the morning, I think she took up the issue of Mahatma Ji emphasizing educating young children. Mm. And I think that sort of set the totality for this morning, that for the future, we need to really not only understand that children are recipients of communication, and here I want to sort of add another point, they can be change actors. I think that is the most significant point. When we talked about ban on fire crackers, no plastic, who made that change happen? Young kids. Yeah. yeah. So when you're talking about hand wash, remember that little kid, if you once embed that good habit, that child will remind adults to wash their hands as well. It's really critical to note that. And as Sesame, we work with little children. Brain development happens the fastest in the first five years of a child's life. Hygiene is the most critical. And we forget to teach children hygiene in those years. Correct. We just sort of pull the flush for them, we, the mother washes the hand for the child. We, we like to do things for our children. What about teaching children to be independent, to do what they can? And it's a very simple thing to wash hands. It's not very difficult. Yeah. yeah, to pull the flush is even simpler. So why don't we teach children to do it themselves? They learn and then that'll become a habit for life. So to your point, it's actually not a very complicated communication strategy. It's actually probably the simplest thing to teach children a good habit. Simple things are often the most difficult to do to also. Yeah. <laughs> to attain simplicity, you've yeah. got to work really hard. Of course. <laughs> to make a mess of things, that is very easy. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, please, stay with us, because at this time, we have joined with us Uttar Pradesh ke, uh, Deputy Chief Minister and Minister of Medical Health, Brijesh uh, Pathak Ji. Brijesh Ji, thank you very much for your NDTV. Thank you very much. जी एनडीटीवी के इस कार्यक्रम में आपका बहुत स्वागत अभी थोड़ी देर पहले हम वाराणसी की एक रिपोर्ट देख रहे थे जिसमें डायरिया को लेकर के किस तरीके से इनिशिएटिव्स प्राइवेट सेक्टर में भी हो रहे हैं आ, मैं मानता हूं सरकार भी इसको लेकर के कर रही होगी क्योंकि उत्तर प्रदेश में ये हमेशा से ही एक चुनौती रही है रेस्पिरेटरी इन्फेक्शन हो ट्यूबर हो आ, इसको लेकर के आपकी सरकार 
ने क्या मुहिम छेड़ी है इस दिशा में आप क्या काम कर रहे हैं देखिए जो हमारे चीज है जो मच्छर लगती है या वायरल डिजीज है चलाते हैं वर्ष में तीन बार और मुझे इस बात की प्रसन्नता है कि इंसेफ्लाइटिस को उत्तर प्रदेश से पूरी लगभग हमने आज हमारे पास एक भी डेथ इंसेफ्लाइटिस की नहीं जानते हैं कि के डायग्नोज ही नहीं हो पाई थी बीमारी कौन सी है संभव हो पाया है हमने ध्यान हमने चलाए हैं वर्ष में तीन बार हम चलाते हैं आज आप पानी गंदा पानी हमारे पास जमा हो पनपते हैं और मच्छर पनपने की वजह पनपती है जहां तक सवाल है लगातार आते हैं और लोगों से आगाह करते बच्चों को स्वच्छ वातावरण प्रदान करें उनके मुंह से वो जब के बाद चलते हैं कोई गंदनी गंदगी का को डायरिया हो तो पेयजल भी लगातार उपलब्ध कराते रहे हमारे साथ कैंप लगा करके इस दिशा में काम कर रही है आती है कि हमने जो स्वास्थ्य सेवाएं उनका विस्तार हमने पच्चीस पांच हजार की आबादी पर है इक्कीस हजार के लगभग हमारे पास हेल्थ एंड वेलनेस जो हमारे हेल्थ है सभी सेंटर्स पर हमने की वहां पर पैथोलॉजी का भी है बच्चा बच्चा के स्वास्थ्य की सारी सुविधाएं वहां पर गई है जो जुखाम बुखार उनकी दवाइयां वहां पर उपलब्ध रहती है अगर आप इसके अलावा इजाजत दें ब्रजेश जी मैं आ, संकेत बोल रहा हूँ अगर आप इजाजत दें आपके ऑडियो में थोड़ा सा प्रॉब्लम आ रही है बस दो मिनट में इसको ठीक करके वापस आप तक आते हैं क्योंकि जो संदेश आप देना चाह रहे हैं वो बहुत ज़रूरी है ये जानना जरूरी है कि उत्तर प्रदेश मोस्ट पॉपुलर स्टेट ऑफ दिस कंट्री हाउ इज इट डीलिंग विद इट्स वेरी बिग हेल्थ चैलेंजेस तो ब्रजेश जी बने रहिएगा हमारे साथ हम अभी थोड़ी देर में आपके पास वापस आते हैं ये ऑडियो का इशू ठीक करके आयुष्मान कुछ पूछना चाहते हैं and i really believe that children are deeply affected by art and music and of course it's the way or or a tool to bring about that change among the young minds so what do you think that change is possible through street theater and what's your take on it um uh, well um in fact um, under dbsc program um, under school education education program uh, we are using different tools art and culture in educating the children on hygiene messages for example the puppet show using the puppets we can instill a habit of hygiene behaviors and messages long lasting among the children uh, that way we are creating a lot of hygiene awareness among the school children also apart from um, art and culture we are also using hygiene songs hygiene songs are majorly used for different topics like uh, hygiene uh, personal hygiene behaviors hand washing Uh, and um, uh, hygiene during illness hygiene in na- neighborhood or or used for our uh, as a part of our campaign in addition to that uh, we are also educating the children as child to child approach is our major program in our school hygiene education program and through child to child education the children are acting as ambassadors of change they they transform the information to other kids also in their home to their parents from their parents to the community level that way we could able to reach more number of uh, community members uh, with hygiene messages that that create more sustainable health and hygiene behaviors among the communities in addition to that personally i wrote 14 hygiene songs which are on different topics uh, right from personal hygiene um, then kitchen garden in the schools kitchen garden in the homes Uh, then um, from morning to evening what are the hygiene habits all hygiene songs are specially created and in within a day i wrote all these 14 songs for the kids uh, about 10 20 years ago which was published by the district collector of tiruchirappalli city in tamil nadu uh, that way we are working uh, among the children um, apart from that the different uh, tools and uh, iec equipments we are using under dbsa program like the puzzle game uh, then um, um, then then the soap making uh, i like to tell about uh, more about the soap making uh, by making the children to involve in soap making the children learn the habit of 
um, uh, how to make a soap and for what purpose the soap is being used uh, during crucial hours of hand washing. That is the another important uh, DBSA program is uh, the soap bank. The soap bank uh, inculcated among the children the habit of giving to others uh, in uh, in providing donating on their birthdays uh, to the soap bank. For example, in Tamil Nadu, one of the teachers after seeing the children's uh, a soap bank uh, and a donate a donation to the soap bank, the soaps. Uh, the teacher gave 82 soaps for all the 82 kids in the classroom. That's uh, a very good thing. That yeah. kind of I think it's a great uh, thing uh, that you donation soap and bank giving giving culture culture created among them. Yeah. Uh, so, Ravi, my question is to you. Uh, you know, 70 percent, 70 percent of Bharat is in the small cities. If we are sitting here, the people 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 are sitting how are you disseminating it and what's the future? Thank you so much, Aishman, for asking this question. This has been one of the very longest journey for me, working on a program since last nine seasons. And we took some baby steps when we started by going to some 4,000 schools and now taking the program to around 9 lakh schools. Uh, which means around 30 million school kids. Uh, our leadership invests very heavily to make sure uh, the program leaves no one behind. And today, the program is also going to witness something very interesting. We have uh, seven borders of India with the seven countries. You're going to see like how the hygiene program that we have uh, curated has reached even to the last village in Arunachal, to the last village which is actually bordering to Pakistan, to the last village which is bordering to Myanmar. We have kids coming all the way from uh, Leh, Ladakh, whom you are going to see today. And you will also be seeing a lot of uh, work which is uh, very culturally adaptive in terms of like, uh, you may have heard about the langas which is a song genre in uh, Rajasthan. Yeah. Uh, so we have uh, Raiz Khan. We did a Raiz Khan project with him. And it's on Spotify. And in all the schools across Rajasthan, all the public schools, private schools, that song is played on the very, very regular intervals. It's a part of the smart schools program and uh, Atal you know, school program. In the similar way, in the states like Tamil Nadu and Pondicherry, we launched uh, our song album uh, with NDTV and with Hindu um, six, seven months back. Uh, it's a part of the smart school program across Pondicherry and uh, Tamil Nadu. Uh, my good friend, uh, Sain Damodranji, he recently met uh, the governor of Pondicherry. And she said, like, uh, this was uh, one of the very big gaps, but she identified, like, there is no song, no game, no music, and it was just the lecture sessions for the kids which generally happens in most of the education settings. So we were able to break that uh, you know, clutter. We, we introduced our songs, and now songs are there. Then uh, next interesting thing is yes, you know, using the STEM education. Why STEM education be just limited to India? Why it should not go to Bharat also, where the India resides largely? In the ag agrarian economy, 70% we are agrarian still. So. Uh, we put our efforts uh, on the screens regularly, like our, our kit is being uh, displayed here, which we took as a STEM education kit so that with the help of the Detol sanitizer and some oil and some cornstarch, some basic three ingredients, how you teach kids to make various size and shapes of the soap yeah. so that the fragrance of Detol stays. You can make the bunny, you can make the rabbit, you can make the heart, you, and you can use that soap for the various occasions. Yeah. Uh, very interestingly, like we got very fantastic response because this had, uh, this had, you know, uh, this has touched something called uh, neuro linguistic programming, where the kids were involved with the teachers. Uh, they were doing it. They were seeing it. They were uh, feeling the fragrance. Uh, they were, uh, they were creating, you know, newer kind of shapes and sizes of the soaps. Very interestingly, uh, in the last mile, it started with the few teachers. Uh, in down south in Telangana, uh, two years back, where one of the teachers said, we have the milk bank, 
we have the federal banks, uh, we have the wheat banks like the FCI, Godowns and other things. Why not to have a soap bank? So uh, we, we were very curious to understand like what this soap bank is going to do. Uh, we tested in down south, we took it to whole of uh, uh, then UP, Bihar, and now in all the states and union territories where Reckitt works in all the schools, we have soap banks in each and every school. On the birthday celebrations, the soaps are donated, and then those soaps are actually given to those who belong to the last quintile. Mm. And somewhere, like, you know, uh, rather than making them, uh, you know, with the unhealthy snacking and other things, yeah. it's important to give uh, something which is more useful to the kids. Yeah. So in this way, we are doing some culturally adaptive uh, messaging and we are trying to take care of the social norms, and uh, uh, we are ahead of the game as of now. Is to catch them young. When you are young, you are very receptive, you learn more new things, I think it's beautiful, what are you doing, it's great. I'm trying to do that in the film, by the way. You know, what better way than that? So it stays in their mind as well. Now, Brajesh Patak Ji, Deputy CA, Uttar Pradesh. Namaskar, Mr. Patak, I am Ayushman Khurana. I belong to Punjab, but most of my films are shooting in Uttar Pradesh. So my wife tells me that you have to take the other family in UP. Because I'm in UP. So as much as I can know about it, I can see that I can't see my home state. So I want to ask you a question about health challenges in the next 10 years. What are you going to address the government level and what are you going to do with government level? And what are you going to do with our campaigns? What will you focus on in the next 10 years? Thank you. I think they're not able to hear them. Okay. Do you feel like this? Yes, it's coming, Brijesh. It's coming, Brijesh. Tell me. तो पूरे प्रदेश के लोगों को उच्च व्यवस्था मिले इसके लिए हम लोग प्रतिबद्धता कर रहे हैं हमारे एक सौ डिस्ट्रिक्ट लेवल के हॉस्पिटल्स हैं हमारे उत्तर प्रदेश में डिस्ट्रिक्ट है लेकिन किसी जनपदों में दो डिस्ट्रिक्ट लेवल के हॉस्पिटल चिकित्सालय है और एक चिकित्सालय है से सभी जनपदों में जो हंड्रेड अतिरिक्त शिष्ट हॉस्पिटल से हमारे पास साढ़े नौ सौ के लगभग सामुदायिक जो ब्लॉक लेवल पर होते हैं इसके अलावा लगभग तीन चार हजार के प्राथमिक स्वास्थ्य केंद्र है और सबसे बड़ी पच्चीस हजार उप केंद्र है जो सब सेंटर्स के रूप में से हमने इक्कीस हजार से अधिक हेल्थ एंड वेल के रूप में चेक जो पांच हजार की आबादी और सभी अस्पतालों को में जांचे निशुल्क इलाजी सेंटर भी चला जनपदों में हम मशीन लग चुकी है जो प्राइमरी डेंटल केस है उसको हेड इंजरी के रूप में हम दे सकते हैं इसके अलावा आप जानते हैं कि हमारे बड़ी चुनौती थी प्रेगनेंसी के दौरान पहने अल्पिया अस्पतालों के चक्कर लगा और अपने देश में समस्या है रेडियोलॉजिस्ट तो हमने के दौरान नौ माह में कम से कम तीन चार करना पड़ता था तो हमने स्टेट बैंक के सहयोग से ऐप बनाया आशा वर्कर के माध्यम से चिन्हित करके मोबाइल पर हम एक बार कोड और बार कोड को चिन्हित अस्पतालों में निशुल्क अपना अल्ट्रासाउंड व्यवस्थित करा सकती है इसके अलावा जो उनको हमने स्ट्रेंथन किया है वहां पर थलाजी के साथ साथ भी हमने खोला है जच्चा बच्चा के साथ लगते हैं होती है सर दर्द सर्दी जुखाम बुखार इसके अलावा सबसे बड़ी बात है कि यदि सब सेंटर पर आ जाता है सीएचओ के समझ में नहीं आता है तो संजीव किसी भी विशेषज्ञ चिकित्सक से वो तत्काल करा सकते ये जो बातें बता रहे हैं ये बहुत बड़ी बात इसलिए भी है क्योंकि you are dealing with the most populous state in the country इतनी बड़ी आबादी को उसके health issues को address करना ये मेरे ख्याल से while the primary responsibility is of the government 
uh, at the same time it requires partnership at various levels for you to be able to achieve uh, anything ambika kuch kehna dr saini jaise aap keh rahe the kai bar aapke paas samay nahi hota when we talk about health for all laksha sampurna swasthya ka abhi bhi kya kya challenges hai is it a shortage of doctors nurses ki shortage hai kai bar hum over medication le lete on you know just kick dawaiyan kha lijiye or is there a, is there a lot of information available for all of us to see and just self medicate aapne ek pehla question kiya kya hamare paas doctors ki kami hai डब्ल्यू एच ओ कहता है कि वन इन थाउजेंड के पास एक डॉक्टर थाउजेंड्स के लिए होना चाहिए अपरेंटली यदि हम ये देखें तो आज की तारीख में जो स्टैटिस्टिक्स गवर्नमेंट की कहती है कि वी आर वन इज टू एट फिफ्टी इट मीन्स एक डॉक्टर एट फिफ्टी पे है लेकिन इसमें हैरान होने वाली बात यह है बिल्कुल यू आर ऑल्सो सरप्राइज आई एम ऑल्सो सरप्राइज ये स्टैटिस्टिक्स कुछ और कहता है रियलिटी कुछ और होती है बिकॉज ये स्टैटिस्टिक्स में डॉक्टर शॉर्टेज हैं क्योंकि ये जो स्टैटिस्टिक्स है दिस इज इंक्लूडिंग ऑल डॉक्टर्स उसमें से काफ़ी लोग माइग्रेट कर गए काफ़ी लोगों की डेथ हो गई इसमें कुछ आयुष्मान डॉक्टर्स भी हैं द ब्लड एच ओ का क्राइटेरिया वन इज टू वन थाउजेंड सो वन शॉर्टेज ऑफ डॉक्टर्स देर राइटली पॉइंटेड आउट डॉक्टर्स को एज ए टीम वर्क काम करता है उसके लिए उसको नर्सिस भी चाहिए उसको पैरामेडिकल स्टाफ भी चाहिए और जैसा सिस्टम आ रहा है कि हमारी डिजीजेज आती हैं देन यू नीड ए हॉस्पिटल ऑल्सो वहाँ की भी शॉर्टेज है और तीसरा अन इवन डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन यू विल फाइंड डॉक्टर्स आर मोर इन इन द बिगर सिटीज कैपिटल्स बट नॉट इन विलेजेस वहां पे अभी भी वो बेचारा जिसको हम झोला छाप डॉक्टर्स बोलते हैं उनके साथ उनकी वो लेता है थर्डली हमारा एक जो बीमारी क्यों बढ़ जाती है हम सारे के सारे आपने एक और पॉइंट किया हम सारे के सारे डॉक्टर्स होते हैं हम डॉक्टर के पास तब पहुंचते हैं जब हमारे से मुश्किल हो जाता है उसको ठीक करना अभी कोविड के टाइम भी देखा गया कि एजिथ्रोमाइसिन टेट्रासाइक्लिन इन दवाइयों का इतना इस्तेमाल हुआ कि आज की तारीख में वो दवाइयां बेकार हो गई तो आपके थ्रू मैसेज देना चाहूँगा कि आप अपने आप दवाइयाँ नहीं खाइए कम से कम एंटीबायोटिक नहीं खाइए और अपने आप को डॉक्टर मत समझिए जब की जरूरत हो तो एक प्रोफेशनल की हेल्प लीजिए तीसरा जो रोल है प्रिवेंशन हम बार बार कहते हैं कि प्रिवेंशन इज बेटर देन क्योर लेकिन अनफॉर्चुनेटली क्या होता है कि हमेशा हम ट्रीटमेंट पे ही ले जाते हैं क्योंकि डॉक्टर के पास पहुंच जाए ट्रीटमेंट पे हम ज्यादा कंसंट्रेट करते हैं इसलिए ये रोल ऐसे प्रोग्राम्स का बहुत ज्यादा है जहां पे हम प्रिवेंशन की बात करते हैं क्योंकि हमारे यहाँ शॉर्टेज रहेगी बहुत टाइम लगेगा अभी हॉस्पिटल्स बनने में अच्छे हॉस्पिटल बनने में क्वालिटी हॉस्पिटल्स बनने में दवाइयों के मिलने में डॉक्टर्स के और बनने में लेकिन सबसे अच्छा जो काम हम सब मिलकर कर सकते हैं इट इज ए टीम वर्क प्रिवेंशन इज ए टीम वर्क जो मैंने पहले भी कहा प्रिवेंशन इज रिगार्डिंग माई वाटर वाटर माई फूड माई पर्सनल हाइजीन और सैनिटेशन और ये चारों डॉक्टर नहीं कर सकता जी. सब सोसाइटी को मिलकर मीडिया हैज ए रोल टू प्ले एंटरटेनमेंट इंडस्ट्री हैज बिकॉज दे आर इंफ्लुएंशियल दे आर इंफ्लुएंशियल फॉर पीपल so media has to play ashman you have a role to play hmm. ravi ji and all these are people are playing hmm. ngos have role to play and as doctor yes it's my responsibility i am doing my responsibility along with all of you exactly Sir, dr saini in fact hum to ek tarah ke opinion leaders hain hi but grassroots level par aap log hain opinion leaders kids are opinion leaders i think they are the biggest opinion leaders right now coming to kids uh, ma'am aap se main puchna chahta hu ki aap uh, we lead through examples when it comes to kids like more than i think more than words actions really reflect and reflect that positive change amongst kids and through ses me how you doing this and how you scaling it up in future uh, you know you've just said it positive role modeling uh, children learn in the best way if they can see good examples so as sesame this is our sort of core of our messaging we are a 50 year old organization and this is one thing we we do is teach children through positive uh, behavior Uh, we have these amazing muppets uh, you know talking to children in fact sometimes i laugh and say that you know even as an actor to appeal to children must be the most difficult thing to do because you know they they can reject messages they can you know if you think you're funny they may just not laugh at you so as as sesame we have evolved that how to talk to children we have these amazing muppets uh, they speak to children they're five year old muppets eight year old muppets and they make stem easy they make it accessible sometime today we are using big words hygiene sanitation uh, these are really big words in a child's universe how can you make these simple things 
these words very simple and that's critical. So it's positive role modeling, taking these big words, big concepts and making them super simple that a five-year-old child can understand. So those are the principles of communication. Uh, with Reckitt, I'd love to say that, you know, we've done some really innovative stuff. Uh, how can a child, through 3D modeling, through really, uh, I think the next generation of things, learn how to, uh, how to uh, learn these health messages? Because remember, today that child is, is digitally native. You know, we are talking about a child who's growing up on AI, on, you know, they know how to work a smartphone better than all of us sitting here. Uh, yes, uh, there is still the last mile, but, you know, through COVID, uh, digital penetration has sort of skyrocketed. It's in villages now. Children learn how to operate a smartphone faster than they learn the alphabet. So as, as Sesame, I think we live in two, two worlds. One is the real world of a child where they are playing with each other, they're going to school. How can we reach there? With, I think this is one of the biggest programs we are just rolling out with Reckitt in Orissa. Uh, the Honorable President inaugurated the health kit. Uh, it's going to reach 17 lakh children in the near future, teaching uh, kids about health and hygiene, which everybody here is talking, uh, again, through these amazing uh, Muppets, uh, really making it special and dear to children, accessible. I, w I think the word is not just having uh, toilets as accessible, but knowledge accessible. I think that is what we are talking here. And the last thing I'd really like to say about positive role modeling, about simplification of messages, is using the digital universe. I think uh, gamification, playing through, you know, through, uh, through, the, uh, through the information. In fact, a recent Bharat EdTech report said that uh, children are spending quite a lot of time on digital. You know, they are, they, are, they are watching, in fact, anywhere between half to two hours. And I think that is, is a very significant piece of information. Uh, the state of Andhra has 85% digital penetration. So when we talk of scale up, I think we have to use every mechanism at hand. Uh, it has to be in the classroom, to the smartphone, and of course through television, which is in every household. So as Sesame, I believe one very simple thing, reach the children where they are. That's the most significant message that I can give today, whether it's through TV, whether it's through your smartphone, whether it's your classroom, and whether it's in the family. You need to empower the entire ecosystem of a child with this unified message, then we will see change happening in the future. That's very well said, ma'am. In fact, being an ambassador of UNICEF India, we closely work with young children, and I've worked on cyberbullying also at the same time. Uh, you know, we live two different lives altogether. Sometimes it's an alter ego of ours, which is on social media, and we have a different, uh, you know, personality on ground, on in reality. Uh, and you also spoke about AI. AI जो है डॉक्टर से मैं पूछना चाहता हूँ कि AI आगे जाकर कितना हेल्प करने वाला है हमारे हमारे देश में I don't know in in terms of health in terms of hygiene मुझे लगता है बेसिक लेवल पर एक तरह से हेल्प कर सकता है आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस पर एक पर्सनल टच जो है वो डॉक्टर का है वो ज़्यादा वो कहाँ से लेकर आओगे You are absolutely right both things are needed क्योंकि AI can help you but the same time, जो आप सामने बैठके करते हो, जैसे there were examples कि आपने soap बनाया उसको, आपने किया, unless then to start using, आज की तारीख में knowledge is there, everywhere is there, but उसको use कैसे करना है, that personal touch is also required, उसके question को answer करना है, AI can also give you answer, लेकिन for that you need to have a that society is different, who will be using AI, वो उनको वैसे ही knowledge है, but we are talking about if you have a patient, you will say that you smoke and he will say that you are not doing it. AI will say that you are not doing it, but the doctor knows that you are smoking and smoking. Absolutely right. So how will AI gauge that? That's where I am saying. Plus, AI can use a particular class in India in today's history. 75 percent of the population is staying where they can't even know what is AI. Plus, you are right. They can't even know that they are smoking or not. If I am seeing that person, मैं उसको देख के बोल दूँगा कि यार the the spell of his कभी कभी patient doctor को देखकर ठीक हो जाता है बहुत बार ऐसा होता है AI को देखकर ठीक नहीं हो पाएगा yes yes I I think that's a big my personal experience I can say 
Seventy yeah. percent of people do not need treatment. When they come to us, they narrate their story. If I'm a good listener to them, yeah. Yeah. they get cured. Because mental satisfaction is very important. That indirectly changes my, increases my antibodies also to hmm. fight the organism. So a doctor has to be a patient listener, and you are very right. At present, I feel AI has no role in medical system at least because that personal interaction is very, very important. Till I have time, narrated my story to my doctor and who gives me that confidence, that boosts my immunity level also. Yeah. That's very important.